is this too early i don't know do i care no fuck you because you zariha okay first um i was kind of debating on whether or not to make this a xeno intelligence video but ultimately i decided yeah why not i mean there's like no evidence to go off of this and this is just my personal like head cannon that i kind of want to be true not the main focus of this video but like you'll understand what i mean or not i don't know but yuzuriha is a blade eater okay and you may say okay where does that come from in her official art which is still absolutely gorgeous by the way on her back you can see this like blue thing right there you think oh those could be the ether lines of blades therefore she's a blade but it's a little too like big and thick to be an ether line and it like protrudes out a little bit then realized wait a minute she could be a blade eater that could be her core crystal or relic earth this legend down in the comments of my Yuzuriha tweet video he said oh that blue thing on her back could actually be a blade eater or it could be a core crystal she could be a blade eater i was like huh that could actually work so that could just be where they put her core crystal which would be kind of weird but mind you blade eaters their core crystals can like go wherever so they don't have to be specifically in the middle of the chest like blades but blade eaters their core crystal can be anywhere and that could just be where hers is and this kind of like transfers into my little head cannon that in the tweet is said that she's from agnes but she lives in the woods and maybe she lives in the woods because she's like an outcast because she's a blade eater maybe there's still discrimination against blade eaters and everything so the reason zeke wasn't um by the way spoilers <laughs> okay spoiler warning here i always forget to put it but spoiler warning maybe zeke wasn't you know really apprehended or no one was going after zeke for being a blade eater because he's tantalese royalty he's literally the prince of tantal so that may give him some clearance and then rex obviously was being you know chased after the whole game because he had the aegis not so much that he was a blade eater but because he had the literal aegis but i don't know i feel like just not more so the government but more so just like society as a whole like discriminate against blade eaters because you know oh blades are like the true pure form and then blade eaters and flesh eaters are just like mutts you know like blades are the pedigree while flesh and blade eaters are just mutts or whatever just like not pure so there's a lot of discrimination against blade and flesh eaters which is probably why tyon covers himself up so well and you know not let it be known that he's also a blade eater but i already made a video on that okay go check that one out that's gonna be in like the description or end card or something maybe i don't know but yuzuriha is a blade eater and she's discriminated against because of that so she decided to go live in the forest with other blade eaters and then it turns out we go to a colony in the woods and find out hey that's where Tyon's from and then that's when it's revealed that he is a blade eater along with Yuzuriha okay you see how this is all starting to fit together I told you Tyon was different and we actually got a tweet on Tyon which I'm gonna cover in a later video that just shows even more that this man is just has godly powers he can do shit no one else can but Yuzuriha is a blade eater and she resides in the forest along with her other like blade and flesh eater refugees so 
maybe flesh eaters aren't as discriminated against as blade eaters because they still technically are blades but they're still not oh full pure blades like senna so perhaps like yuziriha tyon and senna are all friends and like senna helped you know cover up tyon and like hide his identity as a flesh eater and like they're like you know traveling together now i know yes tyon his orbor's form is with iuni but maybe senna and tyon are like close friends but don't outwardly show it as to not like raise any suspicion you know and yuzuri has there too but senna couldn't help yuzuri hunt in time during some kind of conflict so they her and tyon had to like leave her behind so she went and like resided in the forest with her other blade eater friends and that's when that little clip we got of her in that other tweet where she just comes out of nowhere and just shoots those uh arrows at yuni because yuzuri has jealous <laughs> he's jealous of a yuni because tyon and yuni are you know or boris links so yuni is tyon's you know counterpart and like yuzuri had feelings for <laughs> tyon so she tries to mark a yuni it's, it's just great yuzuri is literally like the best character already we haven't even heard her talk or anything and she's already the best character and i guess on a more like serious note she has a tattoo and it's on her inner thigh of course it's on her inner thigh but her tattoo is like halfway full somewhere around there so not really sure what that means but she may be like around like 16 or 17 assuming that the amount of tattoo that is full depends on the age so if she is 16 that's kind of tough <laughs> but Yuzuriha is like the greatest character already like I love her she's so she's so badass she's so cool and then once Yuzuriha joins the party or first meets the party after like trying to murder Iyuni she explains her situation as like oh yeah um i was discriminated against and i kind of took refuge in the forest to you know save myself from that and then she looks at iuni or she looks at senna and tyon all weird everybody's like what was that look for and she was like um come here let me show you and she's like what are you discriminated against she's like i'll show you and then she takes them to a colony in the forest and then it takes a minute but everyone realizes whoa they're all blade eaters and then yuzuriha she reveals that i'm a blade eater too and she turns around and shows her core crystal on her back okay and then she looks at senna and tyon and then tyon walks over and stands next to her and then he like rips his shirt open and he's like i'm a blade eater too <laughs> And it's like, and then they tell the whole story about how oh, there's like this whole conflict or whatever, and there's like mass protests against blade eaters and flesh eaters, and they're like driven out of the Agnes capital, and then Senna, being a pure blade, tried to help them, tried to help her, like Yuzuriha and Taya, and she tried to help them and bring them with her, but. She was only able to bring Tyon and she couldn't get to Yuzuriha in time, so she had to leave her behind. Then they reunited right there when Yuzuriha tried to murder Iyuri. And then after that whole story, they joined the party, or she joins the party, and the adventure continues. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I just came up with all of this on the spot, okay? Once I, like, get stuck, once I get thinking about Xenoblade, my mind just goes off but yeah holy shit uh yuzuriha is a blade eater okay and he's discriminated against by the people of agnes and that's why she lives in the forest so 
maybe there's the same type of discrimination against like half bred Entia, high Entia in Kevis, but that's kind of weird because Zeon is a Kevis soldier. But maybe he's just like so exceptionally talented and just skilled that they just overlooked that and let him join the the uh the damn army and maybe that's why iuni is on the run as well because she's a half breed <laughs> okay so that's why her you know her tie on senna they're all well not senna but like her and tie on are like not pure you know in, in the eyes of kevis and agnes so they join the party and you know on the runaway with the but that really wouldn't make any sense because Elia is also a half breed. But again, I said like just like the community, the society of Kevis is discriminatory, not so much the government. You know, I don't think the government really gives a shit because Nia is a flesh eater. So she's not pure either. So it's like the governments don't really give a shit. They care more about, oh, Y'all are Ouroboros instead of, oh, y'all aren't pure, you know? And yeah, we, I don't know if, um, you know, the uh, Yuzuriha and Zeon or have Ouroboros links. Maybe they link with each other, okay? Maybe Zeon and Yuzuriha are counterparts and they have an inner link with each other because First, they're the opposite genders, and they're from opposite colonies. So maybe them two have their own Ouroboros link. And then Riku and Manana have their own Ouroboros link, and it's some like weird Navhan Ouroboros. And then Kamaravi and Ethel have their Ouroboros link, and it's just like a huge Ouroboros orgy. <laughs> Like everyone has an Ouroboros form and they just go on a rampage. So if, you know, it is true that we get all the heroes and temporary party members as permanent party members in the pose game, maybe as like a new game plus thing, uh, Yuzuriha and Zeon uh, get their own Ouroboros form. Ethel and Kamaravi get their own Ouroboros form. I don't know how Riku and Manana would work because they share one slot they're kind of like ice climbers they're like two characters in one so that's really weird but hey i'm sure modelist will find a way to work that out but <laughs> this is such a stupid ass theory but yeah this is just my head canon that yuzuriha is a blade eater along with tyon and lives in forest as like like a little refugee colony because she was discriminated against and dri driven out of ever the Agnes capital is by the people there. So, hell, I don't know. Because, like, discrimination and racism isn't really anything new in Xeno. It's a really big part of Xeno as a whole. Gears, Saga, and Blade. So, it's not that far out there. But... Yeah, this is just a dumbass video, okay? I just spent like 13 minutes ranting on about Yuzuriha and like her backstory even though we know absolutely nothing about her. So, hey, if this turns out to be true, I am going to lose my shit, okay? When I do that Zero Blade 3 playthrough and we find out Yuzuriha actually is a Blade Eater and all of this was true, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a cut it off here because I'm not trying to make this like three hours long of me just ranting about Yuzuriha. As always, thanks for watching. Have a damn good day. Stay safe. Be well. And play some goddamn Beetle Bleed.